call it's just finished so that one works now can we bring up a command prompt and now can we ping uh, 10011 good so that is connected to LAN and has a connection to node 1 and then let's agree to that keep an eye on these windows because that's sometimes how you can tell when a, a job's being done um, this is the SAN now the SAN we're purely using for administration so to ensure we don't try and get um, file sharing out of the interface we can just unbind it we don't need any of that we only need IP uh, and we need to give it an IP address in the SAN range which is 1.10 and everything else looks okay so that's ready to go and now you should be able to ping 192.168.1.3 that is open filer so let's jump on the open filer box which is HTTPS 192.168.1.3 and then this port 446 continue uh, I might as well turn on the phishing filter or phishing filter I should say um, now is it password Super. Okay, so we're into Open Filer. Let's check back. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and let's do the same one here as well. So we want to do a yum group install clustering. Okay, so um, we've got our um, open filer box. Um, now let's turn on um, iSCSI first. It's normally under services somewhere. Um, iSCSI target server, we want to enable that. It's going to be a bit slower than normal because at the moment it's doing that and that at the same time. Okay, cool. Uh, now we can't set up the iSCSI target yet because we haven't set up our hard drive. So let's have a look. Somewhere in here we should have our hard drive. It's not used. And there it is. So this is our 20 gig hard drive that we added in. So now we want to select the type, so primary, physical volume, start cylinder, end cylinder, all the boring stuff, just hit create. Node 2 wants to download some packages. You're still doing the clustering bit. Cool, you're now done. Okay, so now we need to create a volume group for this, which we're going to add that, and we're going to call this uh, iSCSI Vols. Okay, now we should have to carve this up now. Uh, somewhere in here. Let's create a new iSCSI target. Let's get rid of that bit. And we're gonna the first one is going to be our core room disk. We haven't got any LUNs yet, so we need to add some of those. Let's have a look. So if we now go to add a volume, here we go. So this is where we would um, essentially split up our hard drive. So this will be core room for cluster one, 
Um, now, you could make it 20 gig, although that's a big waste. Um, you will probably never need more than like about a gig probably so let's set it to that and then this is going to be iSCSI um, and then we need another one as well so let's have a look let's go add a volume okay and the other one is going to be called Sanvol1 um, let's go sand volume for samba and the space will have us and again iSCSI there we go so we've got our two iSCSI um, volumes now so if we drop into the targets we should now be able to associate our target which was this one with a LUN. There we go, so here's our new LUNs. Um, now if we go to the target, our target was called Corum. So we want to associate that with the Corum iSCSI partition or volume I should say. So we can just do map. There we go, that's done. Um, and then we need another one and we're going to call this sandvol1 and drop through to land mapping land mapping even and here we go this is the sandvol samba and we want to map it to that next thing we want to do is sort out the um, network ACL now that is the LAN that everything is going to be accessed through so let's change that to SAN and that should be one line to that netmask is as we all should know is that one okay let's drop back into the um, iSCSI targets and then network ACL at the moment it's deny we want to allow it okay and that pretty much should be ready to go let's drop it back to status we've got a few more things to install so we've done uh, clustering on both as in we've installed the group clustering next one we need to do is cluster storage that's fine This is still on uh, installing the group clustering at the moment. Uh, those errors are, I think, I believe, due to the floppy drive not really existing. But we don't need any more than that. Okay, so um, that's cluster storage installed. Uh, so now we need. The last group is Windows File Server. Yeah, that's fine too. Okay, both of these are probably going to take a while, so I'm going to pause until the next prompt comes up.